Well, thanks to unanimous Senate vote, the country may no longer need to spring forward or fall back. The Sunshine Protection Act would essentially end daylight saving time starting in the spring of 2023. Grab 2's Janelle Finch joining us live in the newsroom tonight to share similar efforts in Washington state and how people are looking forward to a potential permanent switch. Janelle. Mark and Whitney, Governor Jay Inslee signed state legislation in 2019 to end daylight saving time, but Congress stalled that progress for three years on moving it forward. Now there's a chance Washington could finally get what it's been waiting for. Representative Marcus Riccelli was a sponsor on Washington's legislation in 2019. He says if the bill does not pass nationally, he predicts Washington will reignite efforts to push for the change on a state level. Riccelli says permanent daylight saving time would provide health, safety, and recreational benefits. Or for golfers like Ryan Ashby, it would provide an extra hour of playing time. I think one of the biggest things that I hate is when it gets dark at 4.30 in the afternoon and we can't play anymore. Um, it would be nice to get that extra hour in. I mean, we're limited on time anyway. I will definitely take darker in the morning. Now, the House of Representatives needs to pass the act and President Joe Biden will need to sign off on it. Then next spring would be the last time we change our clocks. If Washington has to move forward to end daylight saving time on a state level, neighboring states California, Oregon, and Idaho could follow suit. This would be to eliminate differences within the time zone. In the newsroom, Janelle Finch, Crem 2 News.